Hello to every one of you. Uh, I would like to welcome all members of the media who are here. Uh, thank you for taking your time to attend this press briefing. Uh, as has been said, my name is Professor Simon Mukwembe, the chairperson of the Academic Council of Harare Institute of Public Health. And I'm also the head of school uh, of the School of Mathematics at the University of uh, the Witwatersrand in South Africa, one of the best universities in, uh, in Africa. And in fact, the, the School of Mathematics is uh, the number one school of maths, not only in South Africa, but in Africa. Let me take this opportunity to also announce to you a groundbreaking innovative development that we are proud to have pioneered. Zimbabwean scientists working with the University of the Witwatersrand in collaboration with the Harare Institute of Public Health, in collaboration with UJ as well in South Africa, uh, have discovered drugs that can cure uh, cancer, that can cure Alzheimer's disease, amongst others. Well, let me point out that in drug discovery, the most difficult task is to identify compounds that work. That is really difficult. What we have done is, as the research group, is to develop a digital technology that is based on artificial intelligence that is based on machine learning, that is based on mathematical formulas. We developed this technology and uh, it's now being used. And I, I, I ordinarily like to call it Rutawa. Kanabaine wakambota hirawe, wano ziwakuti munenda usiku, mwondo siya maka nyuza Rutawa. Owe zoya zichibatwa. Rutawa wendu rukubata. Uh, I'm pleased to say we used Rutawa to discover different drugs for treatment of uh, different diseases. First there is cancer. We got a compound that can target only the cancer cells in the human body. Currently the difficulty is the cancer drugs that are there have got side effects because they target both the cancer cells and the healthy cells, the normal cells. So ours is selective. It only targets the normal cells, sorry, the cancer cells, as opposed to the normal cells. Uh, about 10 million people died of cancer in 2020. And also in 2023, about 10 million people died of cancer. So you can see, uh, that the market for the cancer drug is huge, world over. Well, we also developed, of course, we got using the Rutawa, we got uh, uh, a cure for Alzheimer's disease. And I'm pleased to say that, you see, when one has Alzheimer's disease, uh, your, your brain cells die, right? And uh, Unfortunately, you will be getting close to your grave uh, because when they die, they don't get renewed, right? So currently in the world, uh, the Alzheimer's drugs that are there are, are, are very, very toxic. They've got severe side effects, for example, bleeding uh, in, the brain, uh, in the brain and ultimately death. But uh, what we could do with our route was to get a compound that works for Alzheimer's. And that was actually tested in the laboratory by our colleagues, and it was found to resuscitate, resuscitate the, the brain cells uh, from our, our innovation. We also worked on COVID. You know what happened with COVID. We really need as uh, <coughs> countries to stay alert uh, for such eventualities, we also worked on COVID. And uh, I'm pleased to say 
uh, we, we've got quite a number of drugs that can cure COVID. And uh, these actually performed better than one of the best drugs in the USA, which cured the president there in the USA, uh, called Remdesivir. Now, in all this, there's pain associated to it. Uh, in South Africa, one out of five is in pain, chronic pain. And so you can see the demand for painkillers. If you are talking about pregnant women, you would know, of course, only Panadol is the, the best. Some, why are they not used? It's because of uh, uh, side effects, right? And uh, the fact that they endanger the unborn child. We actually using Rotawa uh, managed to discover uh, you know, a drug that can be repurposed for pain killing. Well, we are currently doing this in South Africa, as I said, Wits University, as I said, University of Johannesburg, and that is in partnership with uh, Harare Institute of Public Health. Uh, let me just mention the team so that you can see how big, you know, you can't do it alone. Uh, in drug design. Uh, we've got Dr. Amos Marume, uh, who is on my right hand side uh, from HIPH. Uh, we've got Dr. Isaac Mtingwende, who is also from HIPH. Then uh, 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 we've got colleagues, uh, Dr. Eloise van der Merwe. Uh, she has been quite instrumental in confirming and testing the effectiveness of the drugs that we are talking about in the laboratory setup. Uh, and uh, of course, she has a number of uh, postgrad uh, students working on this. We've got Professor Farai Nyabadza, he's a uh, Zimbabwean based in South Africa, who is at the University of Johannesburg. We've got colleagues, Professor Yasien Said, uh, he was actually doing experiments for the COVID drugs and uh, it's, it's, it's ongoing, but everything is looking good. We've got Professor Betsy Young uh, from my school, School of Mathematics at uh, the University of Fitzwaterstrand. We've got Professor Eunice Mpakobanda, again from the, the same school. We've got Dr. Ronnie Martins, again from the same school. We've got Mr. Mosta Jangaja, who has also been uh, uh, quite instrumental as well in uh, this project. Um, and as the name sounds, he is Zimbabwean. Uh, well, we also have uh, Miss Neo Paddy. Uh, she was uh, uh, doing the lab work. And we have Mr. Tabelo Mlenga. He's also do So you can see that the team is quite, quite big. Uh, but each member in the team has a different role to play uh, in all this. Well, these drugs, let me say, have capacity to impact the pharmaceutical landscape in Zimbabwe. What are the benefits? One, employment. Before we talk about anything, employment. Uh, I've spoken about how big the market is. So you can see that we are talking about big numbers here. Uh, two, the, the health access of our people as cheaply as possible. Uh, you would agree with me that health people are more productive. I mean, if you are sick, uh, you can't be productive. So that, that will be uh, taken care of. We, we've got the cutting down of the importation bill. Uh, if we start manufacturing our own drugs here, we will lower the bill of importing uh, drugs, obviously. And uh, we would also start exporting. Perhaps before you even register these medications outside of Zimbabwe, you would see people trickling in because these drugs market themselves quite easy and simple. We also have, uh, in general, the attainment of Vision 2030. The attainment of uh, Vision 2030. 
30. And as, as I have always said, I am a Zimbabwean who is so much behind our president uh, looking at the vision 2030 and wanting to make sure that we are in line to achieve that. This technology uh, is really disruptive and innovative world over. Uh, I can assure you that it would be difficult for any country to come up with Rutav. Be rest assured. Well, I want to thank you all again for taking your time to come for this press conference. We believe media plays a critical role in public health. We will continue to engage with the media and together impact on provision of health in Zimbabwe. Thank you, Tatenda Siabonga Tualumba. <laughs>